Hi, I'm uh, Tim Burt. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon with a subspecialty certification in sports medicine. I grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota and went to college at the University of Wisconsin, Madison. I kept going south and went to Loyola University in Chicago for my medical school. After that, I started orthopedic residency training in Memphis, Tennessee at their prestigious Campbell Clinic. I then proceeded to uh, do my fellowship at Curlin Job Orthopedic Clinic in Los Angeles, which has been known for inventing the Tommy John surgery. I covered multiple pro sports teams at that time, which included the Los Angeles Lakers, Anaheim Ducks, LA Kings, as well as the Los Angeles Dodgers. So I went to a subspecialization after my fellowship in which I trained with three of the top surgeons in the country for a total of three to four weeks, learning hip arthroscopy. You may have heard of hip arthroscopy as a relatively new procedure in our arthroscopic uh, procedures. This is something that treats hip labral tears in which you tear the cartilage that lines the rim of your socket. People typically present with deep groin pain that is sharp and sometimes can catch or lock in your hip. We typically treat this with an arthroscopic technique which involves repairing the labrum, cleaning up the bone that's tearing the labrum, as well as closing the capsule. I'm one of the few surgeons in the region that does a high volume hip arthroscopy. ACL tears are tears of a ligament on the inside of your knee, which you may have heard of seeing football players get injured or soccer players get injured. What it leads to is instability and difficulty changing directions when you're walking. It gets even worse when you're trying to play sports without an ACL. The thing I like about ACL reconstruction is you get patients who have a knee that they're unable to play the sports they love back in the game to be able to do the things that they were unable to do during the injury. This includes playing soccer, playing football at a high level. And the success rate is very good. Meniscus tears are a painful condition of the shock absorbers in your knee. You have one on each side of your knee, and these are C-shaped in configuration, and they can tear easily from twisting, pivoting, squatting down to pick something off, off the ground, or more high energy, such as playing sports. They can actually cause your knee to lock and swell up. So when I see patients with these injuries, they come in pretty debilitated. And so the satisfying part about fixing these or cleaning them up is they recover very quickly, it's a very reproducible surgery, and patients do very well. Rotator cuff tears are a painful condition of the shoulder where the tendons can tear and retract back, leading to a debilitated shoulder, an inability to lift your arm up, significant weakness, and a significant amount of pain, including loss of sleep at night. Patients that come in with this problem end up having serious issues with the ability to use their arm. And without the ability to use your arm, such as wash your hair, reach up to grab something out of the cupboard, becomes very difficult to do daily activities. What I love about this surgery is that once it's fixed and patients are able to get out of the sling and start moving their arm, they feel like they're getting their life back and feel like they're coming back to being normal again. And they're very satisfied with this procedure. So I've been in the Valley for seven years. I have three children, all under the age of nine years old, so it keeps me pretty busy at home. We as a family like to hike, mountain bike, swim. I uh, enjoy golfing and enjoy occasional pickleball game. 